there was uh, there's still this uh, important base uh, in uh, in Kosovo, Camp Bon Steel, uh, which allows uh, the uh, U.S. Army to change troops from north to the south of Europe uh, and to station troops in a in an area that is important for them. Uh, so, in terms of Kosovo, what can happen is strong pressure, uh, for instance, on uh, Mr. Kurti uh, to uh, engage in uh, appeasement policy and not to uh, and stop the provocation. That can happen because uh, uh, since Mr. Kurti represents the, the ex, uh, far left, the extreme left uh, in terms of government, and this certainly does not uh, appeal to Mr. Trump. Uh, but uh, for a fact, Mr. Uh, Trump was to close uh, a large number of uh, U.S. Uh, bases abroad. Uh, and uh, for uh, an economic reason, these bases uh, spend huge amounts of money. And he needs the money for other purposes. And uh, he's a clever man. Uh, we have to grant him this, that it's one of the aspects that led to the Democrats losing this election was the arrogance and the, the underestimation of Mr. Trump uh, entourage and capabilities. Mr. Trump uh, is not dumb and is not a fool as uh, often it is portrayed. So. I believe that uh, he should be re more respected by his, his opponents. It's uh, one of the most uh, uh, stupid things that uh, a person can do is to underestimate uh, its opponents. You have to respect them. And uh, Mr. Trump, uh, if he got to be where he is now, he will be the president after January. For some reason, he's not as dumb as people are trying to portray him. Well, for sure, he built an, uh, an economic empire, a financial empire. So, uh, as I said before, for him, business is important. And the question of the basis has to do with this. The United States have 700, more than 700 bases around the world. And all these spend a lot of money that he needs for the, his uh, internal policies. 